Hi, Josh Romacki with Geeks of Color. Hi, Josh. How's it going, buddy? Hi, Fra. How are you doing? I'm very well, thanks, mate. Very well. Good, good, good. Glad to hear it. I'm glad that you could take some time to interview with me and to tell a little bit more about your time in Hawkeye for all of our readers, listeners, and watchers at Geeks of Color. So, Fra, you have you know an extensive theater background. You've done movies. Uh, and now you are also doing TV too. And so what are some of the things that you've brought from your experiences within those realms into this particular opportunity as Kazi in Hawkeye? Um, yeah, I, I've done a lot of theater in my past and I, and I absolutely adore it. Um, the main difference between the two is the amount of rehearsal time that you get to prepare for something on stage versus very, very little often for anything that's on screen. But the difference with this was because I had um, a huge responsibility in learning sign language for the role, which I'd never done before, much regretfully, by the way, um, uh, we were, I was given the, the allowance of, of time to do that to a level of proficiency that was required for the part. And the amazing thing that that also was a gift for was spending a lot of time with Alakwa and getting to know her and creating a friendship and a bond with her that hopefully translates onto the screen itself. You know, we were able to feel comfortable with, you know, with each other on set. But yeah, it was it was being able to actually have that re rehearsal time to learn the sign language, but also just feel real, really cemented in, in the character and particularly in the relationship with Maya. Um, as beautifully portrayed, portrayed by uh, Alakwa, so that was that was a real a real gift and something that I could bring from my sort of past experiences. Well, definitely, and that relationship definitely shines through. Um, it's really great that you were able to connect with Alakwa and be able to also utilize sign language within there. And I think that trust is shown within Kazi and Maya's relationship. And now with that, how would you also describe how their connection continues to? Uh, blossom as they work together within the tracksuit mafia hmm. it's a very very complex relationship that they have that runs very deep and, and has done for a long time as someone very astutely picked up kazi is there in the karate class where maya is learning to to fight with her dad and um so they've known each other for a very long time but at this at the same time, Kazi is fiercely loyal to the organization that is the TSM. It's the only stable world he's really known. He's been displaced from somewhere and found himself in this surrogate family. That's that. That's all he knows. And he is so, so fiercely loyal to it. So it'll be interesting to see as, as the story unfolds, how loyal he is to Maya and how much she's willing to pursue uh, this Ronin figure at the expense of the organization. Um, things seem to be in hooks at the moment. Um, so it'll be interesting to see where that goes. Definitely so. And I mean, this is a great opportunity to say uh, inquire, how does it feel to finally be a part of Marvel? Oh, man. I mean, you say... You say finally be a part of Marvel as though it was an inevitability. <laughs> like this is just like the craziest, craziest thing that's ever happened. I'm such a huge fan of the world and have been a massive fan of the MCU since Iron Man. Have loved these stories. I think the storytelling in these movies is just utterly exquisite. So you can imagine just how 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 many times I pinch myself on a daily basis to go like. Is this really happening? Did that, did I really do that? But um, it's it's just completely and utterly thrilling, and it's something I'll remember forever. I love it, and it's definitely something that's going to translate onto screen. So thank you again, Brad, for all of your time for speaking with me and for sharing your insight with our readers, listeners, and watchers at Geeks of Color. Ah, uh, such a pleasure, buddy. All the best. Likewise.